faith made us a little different in a big way. A little different in a big way. Faith made us. Everybody has in their family somebody who's a little different. My Uncle Louie's that guy in our family. He's a little different in a big way. Uncle Louie's always been known as kind of a sad, lonely guy. Never made too many friends, too shy to ask a girl out, much less have kids. But he was a really good uncle. See, Uncle Louie was a little different in a big way. What made Uncle Louie so different was he has ginormous ears. His ears are so big that when he sits down at Thanksgiving dinner, they drag on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Louie's ears are so big, when the winds get up to 30 miles per hour, we have to anchor him down. He turns into a kite. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Louie's ears are so big, when he's driving in his car, he has to roll down the window so he can fit. When he stops to get ya gas, he uses the squeegee to clean him off. You know, <laughs> bugs and stuff. You know what they say about a guy with big ears? They have really good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Louie's hearing so good, it's like supersonic. He can hear what's happening in the house next to him miles away. Now see, most of us didn't know Uncle Louie could hear so good for so many years. He never told us. You know why he never told us? He didn't want us to know all the things that he could hear people saying about him. Things like, I wonder if Dumbo ever gets jealous of Uncle Louie's big ears. <laughs> <laughs> things like, I wonder if uh, Uncle Louie's ever gonna just go to Disney World and join Russ and Mickey in the game. <laughs> Uncle Louie, again, for these reasons, was kind of a sad and lonely guy. But like I mentioned earlier, he was a really good uncle. He'd take us to the playground. He'd often take us to get ice cream. My favorite was laser tag. The reason I like going to laser tag with Uncle Louie is because Uncle Louie's, Uncle Louie's, big ears were so big, he was the perfect blockage when you're playing laser tag. <laughs> We're driving in the car, and Uncle Louie says, Faith, did you hear that? I said, Uncle, we don't hear anything. He said, no, listen closely. You hear that crying? Do you hear that crying? I looked around and listened. I said, Uncle Louie, can we just get that? Boom. Pedal to the metal. Uncle Louie hits his pedal. We go so fast, windows down, ears flopping. We fly <laughs> to the air. We fly right over the other traffic. We fly onto the freeway. Er, car stops. Uncle Louie catapults out of the car. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Oh, it's Uncle Louie. <laughs> Guess what he's flying at, folks? A gi- No, not ginormous. A gigantic robot. A gigantic robot. Lady Liberty ain't not nothing on this guy. He's standing in the middle of the freeway, hand clenched, a dog in his fist. What kind of dog? A basset hound. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, listen. This basset hound was a little different in a big way. You know what made him so different? He had ears as big as Uncle Louie's. They were ginormous. <laughs> Uncle Louie is flying. He is flapping. He startles the robot. Robot unleashes his clenched fist. <laughs> boom, boom. Falls in the middle of the freeway. Uncle Louie wraps his arms around the basset hound. Their ears come together and they make a living parachute. <laughs> <laughs> they float down. They settle. They grab each other and rush back to the car tripping the whole way over each other's ears. <laughs> they get in the car, we have to roll down the back windows now. We literally, lots of ears flapping, fly home. We get home, and guess what? Uncle Louie hops out of the car, looks at his new friend, grinning ear to ear. <laughs> Uncle Louie says, you're a little different in a big way. I don't think I'll be so lonely now. He said, I will name you Biggie Smalls. Thank you, Bill. <laughs>